It has been two years since Fairfax County Public Schools began an investigation into the district's special education program after complaints from parents. Well, now those parents are finally getting a chance to hear the school board's findings. Our Melanie Almick joining us live with a report. Good morning, Mel. Good morning, Holly. You know, in this comprehensive review was part of a legal settlement, and it looked at 21 different questions about how special education students and their families are treated in Fairfax County Public Schools. In 2019, you may recall that Jennifer Tidd and other parents with children in special education filed a lawsuit over FCPS seclusion and restraint practices. I decided in observance of the 437 days that my son spent um, um, locked in a solitary confinement cell that I was going to stand out here every day for 437 days to show them how long that is. And this school year, seclusion is now banned everywhere in Fairfax County Public Schools and restraint only where necessary to prevent a student from imminent harm. However, the new audit did find that students with disabilities have been expelled or suspended more than other students, but did not explain why. There were some positives, high retention rates for teachers and assistants, low student to teacher ratios, FCPS students with disabilities outperforming their peers across the state in reading and math, and parents saying they're mostly satisfied with the program. Program. But deficiencies were noted in other areas, such as new teachers don't feel like they're prepared to support students with disabilities, staff is overwhelmed by paperwork and case management, and translation services aren't easily accessible for families that need them. Now, as far as those higher suspension rates, the audit also found that it's very similar in Prince William County and Loudoun counties, and also said that Fairfax County Public School procedures and policies did not contribute to those discrepancies in the rates of suspension and expulsion for students with disabilities. Maybe this morning when the board meets to discuss these findings, we'll get a little bit more insight as to why that's happening. Yeah, I'm sure the parents will want to know that for sure. Thanks, Mel. Marissa? Well, so